Team 66, a partnership between GM Powertrain Willow Run and Willow Run High School and Community, entered the first robotics Great Lakes Regional Competition held March 10th and 11th at Eastern Michigan University's Convocation Center in Ypsilanti, Michigan. The team, consisting of students from Willow Run High School, GM Powertrain Leadership, UAW Skilled Trades People, teachers, parents, and mentors won the regional last year. They all felt confident the team would do well in this year's competition called Aim High. The object of this year's game was to shoot balls into goals while working with other teams as alliance partners. During the practice rounds, the drive team got familiar with the boundaries of the playing field and how their robot would react under game conditions. They systematically went through a progression of maneuvers to master the controls and gain a better understanding of their game day strategies. Ready? Yep. Turn, David, turn. All right. Suck him up, suck him up, David. Yes, I'm right there. Right there. Hold, hold on to him. David. Turn towards the wall. Right, whole bunch of them right there. After making a few adjustments, the team determined they were ready to compete. It's looking very good, extremely good. Um, we just put some, uh, should I say, shielding around our shooter. We've also got some shielding around the drivetrain uh, chains and all that. And pretty much the entire frame is very sturdy, very secure, as well as the um, Archimedes screw that we got for the balls. It's looking wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Special guest Governor Jennifer Granholm accepted an invitation to the competition and let the crowd know her aspirations for the future of FIRST. We would like to see 100% of the high schools in Michigan having robotics teams all across the state. You have set the standard. After addressing the crowd, the governor assumed her role of honorary starter to the Flyers' first match. You ready? One, two, three, go! And here comes 10 seconds of autonomous mode. The crowd was energetic and enthusiastic throughout the competition. While the matches were being played, other components of the competition were tended to. Katie Butson escorted middle school students from Dearborn Robichaud on a tour of the facilities. And this is the other pits where you can see all the other teams working. Oh, it's two different Yeah, we were just in one. This is the other one. It was their first experience to this kind of event and was intended to give them inspiration to get involved with FIRST Robotics when they go to high school. Team 66 also presented other awards to teams they felt deserved recognition. Okay, I'm from Team 66 and we want to give you guys the Gracious Professionalism Award because we feel that you guys deserve it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck to you too. Thank you. Team 66 would like to present you guys with the Best Rookie Award thank for you. Best you. Congratulations, guys. Team 66 would like to present you with the Best Team Spirit Award. Meanwhile, the competition continued with the Flyers demonstrating why they were the defending champions. The crowd was into every move. What now, people? What now? We beat you all! As the first day ended, the team gathered in the pit area to handle some administrative details. One, we are the Flyers two, a little bit louder three, we still can't hear you four, more, 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 one. We are the Flyers two, a little bit louder three, we still can't hear you four, more, 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 one. Willow Run High School's ROTC students served as the color guard during opening ceremonies on the second day. On Saturday, the team was anxious to do better than the day before. plan for today is hopefully go out, do our best we can, show the best we can, and hopefully get picked for finals. 
the team finished its seeding matches by dominating its opponents. Team members explain. Um, we did really good. Our team, um, we functioned together. Um, David and I both worked together. We got our job done. Um, we did all we could for our, for our alliance, which is, you know, what the game plan was originally. So it, it all worked out good for us. At the end of the qualifying rounds, Team 66 found themselves ranked 16th out of 63 teams. Further participation in the Great Lakes Regional hinged on them being drafted as an alliance partner. Fortunately, they were chosen by the fourth seed. The playoffs for the regional championship began and saw the Flyers progress efficiently through the quarterfinals. For the semifinals, the Flyers would have to face the number one seed and its alliance partners. The first game was dominated by the number one alliance because of their proficient execution of scoring in the autonomous mode portion of the match. Teams pre-programmed their robot to perform specific tasks within a 10 second time frame. The Flyers programmed their robot to score during the autonomous mode and did well too. With their backs against the wall, the defending Great Lakes Regional Champions had to win the next match to move on to the finals. The Flyers' opponent jumped out to a huge lead, which was tough for the Flyers and their alliance partners to overcome. Truck Town, one of Team 66's alliance partners, encountered some problems so the Flyers valiantly came to its teammates' aid and battled to the finish of the match. When it was officially over, the Flyers and their partners did not have enough to win. Tommy Means and Dave Woods summed up. Good. We did the best we could to prevent them from scoring and score ourselves. Uh, we went out there, basically tried our best, and we did what we could do, but Truck Town got uh, knocked over, which is unfortunate, but oh well, I guess it's the name of the game. The first committee handed out several awards, including the highest seeded rookie award. Team 1856, the team the Flyers mentored, won this award. Although the robot competition was over for the Flyers, they were still competing for the prestigious Chairman's Award. Here's what happened. The Regional Chairman's Award honors the team that, in the judges' estimation, best represents a model for other teams to emulate and which embodies the goals and purpose of FIRST. Among the factors judges evaluate are concrete examples of mentorship between students and engineers, demonstrations of how a team inspires others in a school, community, and beyond to share in the excitement and fun of engineering, and compelling stories about how the partnership has impacted the lives of those involved. This is FIRST most prestigious award. The winner of this award will be, invite, will be invited to the 2006 championship in Atlanta, where it will compete against the winners from the other 32 regionals for the chairman's award. And now, here's what the judges have to say about this regional chairman's award team. This year's winning team continues to demonstrate the spirit of FIRST throughout the community and in their school. They have been in place for eight years and have continuously evolved over the years to be the powerhouse they are today. As a positive role model in their community and in their school, this strong team has received an award for excellence in education from area business owners and the local chamber of commerce. During the off season, this team recruits with the same enthusiasm they display during the competition. Over 50% of this year's team are new members and they believe mentoring a rookie team is a privilege. To continue to spread the word of FIRST, this team brought a group of high school students to this Great Lakes competition to introduce them to FIRST. These students are getting the VIP treatment while they are here. The school has been identified by the state of Michigan as an at-risk school, yet over 95% of the team members enter college after graduation. Obviously, they have used their knowledge and skills learned through FIRST to respond to the designation as, not us, this team of high flyers is the spirit of first.
The regional chairman's award winning team is team number 66, the Flyers, Willow Run High School, General Motors Powertrain Corporation. Congratulations to everybody here. If you're going on to another regional, best of luck. If you're going down to Atlanta, we'll see you down there. And most importantly, we'll see you back in 2007 for the 10th annual Great Lakes Regional Competition. Godspeed in your travels home. After winning the Chairman's Award, teacher, mentor, Scott Heaster had some closing comments for his students. Anytime you can make it to the quarterfinals, it's phenomenal. We made it to the semifinals. We beat the championship team once. Yeah. Yeah. We owe, we owe General Motors, and I know we had the big shot here today. I know we will make him proud. We also owe, guys, kids, every one of your parents who give and give and give so much that you cannot even believe. But I want to make a heartfelt thanks to Marsha who put in endless, endless hours. I have a question. Whose house is this? Whose house? 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 Whose I know he said it, but we can't say it enough. Without GM, he stirred all the mentors, all the parents. We would not be here today. I have one thing to say from the team. One, two, three. Thank you, GM! Don't forget this!